<sighs> Here we are, Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. I'm Larissa. Oh my gosh. So, I've had my coffee. I was kind and brought me coffee. I've gotten up and walked a little bit this morning, of course, you know, to go to the bathroom. And both times when I've gotten up, my left leg goes numb. So... We'll see. We'll see how things progress throughout the morning here. Just thinking about, like, what am I going to do? How am I going to navigate my day? Yesterday, I was working on making some packaging. So I saw this clip of this woman who was bitching about being ripped off by Kylie Jenner, as if you wouldn't be ripped off by anybody from the Jenner Kardashian whatever, right? But it was like a packet it was like a package of, of lipsticks and you could buy them packaged one way or packaged another way. And the obnoxious, ridiculous, crazy ass packaging, right, cost like it like doubled or tripled the cost almost of of the lipsticks. And I had seen like in the past there was there was some scandal about the, her lipsticks and stuff only being filled halfway, right? And so you're paying for more product, paying for product that you're not receiving, right? Like I wouldn't buy anything that had their face on it. Mm -mm. I wouldn't buy anything. So I was just like, why are you buying stuff from them? Why? But anyway, I was thinking about this whole packaging thing. And I think about packaging when I'm making things and I make my, a lot of my own packaging and from, for the, for the things that I make. So I was making packaging yesterday and it's part of the product as well. So like I'm, I've, I'm working on these, on these limited edition jewelry sets and they're, they're just, they're, they're not super elaborate or anything, but they're, but they're cute. Right. And I'm making this packaging for them that is like, it's like a little, the package itself could be framed, right? The, the, the board that the, that the jewelry is being mounted on, or it could be kept like, it's really cute, but it's hundred percent recycled materials. And like, even when I'm making personal care products, like when I make deodorant or whatever, I collect paper towel tubes. And I, that's what I pour my, that's what I pour my homemade deodorant into when it's liquid and sets up and then I cut it into bars and then you can peel the, the, um, cardboard away as you use it. I'm going to have to make some deodorant here soon. I don't know. Omar's got some bug up his ass about something this morning. I don't know what. He won't tell me. I heard him yell. I'm like, what? He's like, nothing. I'm like, oh. He's stomping around down there, making all kinds of noise. I wish I could stomp around right now. Hmm. Yeah, I went in went into his toilet and I was, I was a little bit worried maybe I wasn't going to be able to get up because my left leg went numb when I got up out of bed. Mm -hmm. So today I'll continue working on those jewelry sets and also I have all those pepper seeds and I've, I've packaged them, right? Because I kept them all separated. So I have them all packaged and separated out. I just need to figure, finish the, the labeling and packaging on those now. Christmas is coming. I don't know. I was thinking last night about that too. Like I haven't spoken with any of my, and anyone in my life other than Omar and strangers in a year. I haven't spoken with my mother in almost, what, two years now? Three years? Like, I don't know. So, like, who am I going to bother sending Christmas gifts to? I don't know. My nephews. My nephews. Anyway, 
that jacket I'm working on. I gotta wait till I get my my regular machine back. So my backup machine isn't as good as my main machine, right? And it doesn't sew through multiple layers of denim. Oh, and so I can't do all the finish work on this jacket until I get my other machine back. Oh, and I was one of thinking about maybe starting a new one. I don't know, but the stitching is different. Like you can see the difference between stitching between the two machines. So I don't know if I if I really want to do that. If I if I can't finish the garment beginning to end on the on the machine. He's down there stomping around. Oh my gosh. So there's all that stuff. I was so embarrassed yesterday. Oh, I was so embarrassed yesterday. Hair guy came to look at my washing machine because it was leaking all over the place. Turns out the tube that empties the <laughs> empties the washing machine into the sink, the tube had just fallen out, and I just had neither Omar or I had noticed it. Yeah, <laughs> felt like a real idiot. I could have fixed that myself, but he taped it up so now it won't fall out again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really, really need to find a good chiropractor. But I'm so nervous to go see anyone after my experience with Scott Sawyer in, in Santa Cruz. Do not go to Scott Sawyer's office. Do not go there. It is bad news. Seriously, he went on and on about wanting to take care of me. We're going to take care of you. We're going to take, I'm like, you're not taking care of me. I take care of me. He said, no, you're not taking care of yourself. Like, yeah, I am taking care of myself. You're not taking care. Like he kept on saying this and I kept on saying to him, no. Like it was weird. It was like this weird interaction. I'm like talking to me like, I don't know. No. And I said, I'm taking care of myself by coming to see a medical professional, right? You're not taking care of me. You are doing your job. Well, he, he kept on going on and on and on and on. I have a protrusion, protruding seventh cervical vertebrae. It is not a subluxation. It is, it is a, a physical attribute of my skeleton. Right. I've talked about it before. He kept telling me that I had bad posture, that I wasn't. And I was just like, no, I have very good posture. I've been practicing yoga for a very, very long time. The protrusion of my seven cervical vertebra has nothing to do with my posture and everything to do with, with just my, my physiology. It's just the way I'm built. Right. But he kept on trying to like make me feel, feel like, I don't know bad about this like I was doing something bad to myself or not taking care of myself and now I had this big big thing on my back and I mean, he kept the and he was really obnoxious about it and you know he, he's like he looked emaciated like he, he like he looked like he had an eating disorder like he looked anorexically skinny um and it, I, I I you know I I told him numerous times about the you know about this and so then finally I, when I went went in one time my appointment he had me see he had another guy in practice with him a colleague can't remember the guy's name but the guy kept calling me me dear dear I'm like I'm not your dear and that is not professional bedside manner for a for a medical professional I'm not your dear like it was gross and then when he gave me my 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 adjustment he stuck his thumb in my ass crack and grazed my asshole now this was through my underwear but that's what this asshole did I never went back. So don't, don't go to Scott Sawyer in Santa Cruz. They're creepy and gross. They're creepy and gross. And all the women who work there are creepy and gross too. Don't go see Scott Sawyer. Not a good, not a good chiropractor. I'll tell you the best chiropractor I ever had was this guy named Milo. I don't remember Milo's last name. And Dr. Milo in 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 uh, in Oakland, he was an excellent excellent chiropractor. He had this nifty, he had this nifty machine um, that he used. Uh, your first appointment when you go in to see him, 
you don't get adjusted. You you have this test done. And so it hooks, you stand on this thing where, and it measures like where the weight is placed on your foot, not just what your weight is, but where your weight is on your foot. And then there's electrodes that gets hooked up to your back and he met and it measures the machine actually images the inflammation of your nervous system um, in relation to your spine. And then it, you know, it, t t it takes a little while for, for him to get the, the results back. And then you come in for your next appointment, you know, like a week later, and he's able to directly target. He's able to show you where your inflammation is and, and target those areas instead of just like, because sometimes when you feel pain in one area, that's not where the actual inflammation is. It's called a, ref it's called referral. That's a refer, it's a referring pain and that the, the problem is actually someplace else. So like this, this, this imaging machine that he has is able to show that. And he said to me the first time when I, I came in for my first adjustment and we were going over my, 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 uh, my test, he says, I have never seen somebody your age with so much inflammation. And he said, he said, he said, your, your scan is, is similar to that of a much older woman with fibromyalgia. And he says, I'm going to treat you as I do my fibromyalgia patients. And he was an excellent, excellent chiropractor. And he had his dog, Daisy was so sweet. She, she'd be in the office sometimes. He had, he had a, he had a bulldog named Daisy. So sweet. And then like once a year, he does, he does the test again, the scan again to see where you're at. And so he can modify his, his treatment. Best chiropractor I've ever had. Best chiropractor. He was so good. And I drive back to Oakland to go see him if the drive didn't negate the treatment, <laughs> right? Like mm -mm. <laughs> driving is difficult for me. It is. Not because I don't like driving, but because it's so uncomfortable. That's why I drive my truck. My truck is so comfortable. And I can't drive that, that Honda Fit. That Honda Fit is so uncomfortable. It just, I get out of that and I can barely walk. So. Hmm. I'm 43 years old. I'm 43. It's not that old. I'm not ready to be in a wheelchair and I'm not ready to just sit sit around. I'm not ready. Anyway, I'll get up now and see if I can get my leg to work. I can feel there's something pinched. I can feel there's something pinched in my back. I don't know. Maybe Meng Ying will be able to fix it. Find it. Stick her, her hand down into it. Grr. She tells me, she says, I have hands like a man. I know. She has really strong hands. Her hands aren't that big. Her hands aren't big at all. She has, she has feminine hands, but she is strong. And so she'll be able to get whatever, whatever the issue is, she'll be able to get in there. Mm. Adjust it. <laughs> Because being able to walk is great. It really is.